We are Got live. It. Sarah Bates, welcome to the show. We're dozens of followers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to everything we have to say about the world of volunteering and engagement. And Sarah, for folks that don't know you, I think a lot of people that do watch these do know you, but mind telling us a little bit about what you do at We Hero. Yeah, of course. Great question. So folks who don't know who I am, hello, lovely to meet you. I am Sarah Bates and I help lead events for We Hero. Sarah's like always too humble. So I just have to like <laughs> redo her intros. So here, we'll do it over again. I'm going to pretend so, to be you. Okay. I'm Sarah Bates and Perfect. I basically lead everything that happens with our volunteer experience division of the company. So working with clients, crafting those experiences, helping us scale these programs across the globe. That's what I do. And so there. Yeah. That, that does intro? sound actually much better. Yeah, <laughs> this is Ben. He is the founder and creator of We Hero and my desk neighbor also as well. Love all of the things. And janitor. And janitor. And janitor. So, Phenomenal janitor. Uh, well, the reason, folks, that Sarah and I are hanging out today is because we work with a lot of companies on their international efforts. And I think historically, mm -hmm. We Hero really focused on North America in regards to the just area that we were able to support. Over the last two years, we've invested quite heavily in expanding across the globe. A lot of our clients, they have multinational offices, and we have clients that have HQs in Australia or in Brazil or in Europe. And so yes. we've been doing a lot of work abroad. I just came back mm -hmm. from Lisbon, Portugal. We had a team that was in Bangkok, Thailand, and we wanted to just have a quick session to talk to you all about how We Hero does international. And, you know, Sarah, maybe a first question for you, for you, because you've been doing a lot of these efforts is, is telling us, you know, how we do these international events, maybe a little bit about how we source in country, how we have teams that are in country there, how it's kind of localized, like would love any voiceover you have to just how we hear does and thinks about international. Yeah. And I mean, that's, again, my, my humble sharings is, is kind of the snaps of, of what you just shared is, you know, initially when, when I first started, we hear it was you know, remote US based and, and as, as the pandemic has ended, you know, it's people are, are wanting to get out, not only in the US, but they want to get out globally and they want to make an impact locally in these global locations, which is amazing. And I mean, of course, at, at this organization, we want to support people wherever they are to make sure they're making the greatest impact. So for example, when, when you went to Lisbon, thank you so much for doing that for We Hero. Truly appreciate that again. We had an amazing We Hero ambassador, right? We want to make sure that we're, we're honoring the UN in every way possible. So we're having We Hero ambassadors within country and really connecting on a local level to make sure that we are offering offering the best experience possible because as, as much as we love to, to feel that we're the experts, we're not the experts in every country. So we are sourcing ambassadors in these areas to best support and execute these events in the smoothest way possible. So for Lisbon, we had, you know, a, I had a main con, like ambassador there, you know, sourcing materials, really connecting to make sure that these are eco-friendly materials and they're making as minimal impact on the environment as possible. So we're not shipping from the U.S. directly over. And then we're finding amazing people in this area to really just, again, represent We Hero in the most beautiful way and also to support the client in every way possible um, since these are happening beyond beyond our normal working hours you know they're happening eight hours ahead 12 hours ahead and we just want to make sure everyone feels good and successful about these global events that are taking place yeah I love how localized it is and we get a lot of questions on you know we here supports a lot of these amazing global organizations but when we do international projects with you all are the nonprofits local and the answer is yes like to your point Sarah like it's really localized. The Lisbon example, you know, working with Disaster Aid Europe and, you know, having them on site, that was just a wonderful experience. And to your point, we're not the experts. Like we really rely to, on our nonprofit partners and work really closely mm -hmm. with them and um, being able to work with local nonprofits on the ground, understand the gaps and challenges and craft volunteer experiences from the ground up is, mm -hmm. is been a really cool, unique experience. Um, and so the, we take localization to heart and I love that we're not shipping these things overseas. They're sourced in country. Yeah. We want to support the local economies. Um, mm -hmm. And that's been something that's been really awesome. It, it has. And it's, I mean, personally, I've learned so much about these international nonprofits that we're supporting on that local level. Uh, for example, when we were, had a, a team in, in Bangkok, Thailand, we supported Childland Thailand, which has 
so many challenges, but this amazing nonprofit uh, came in person to support and connect with the client. Uh, they worked with us in, a, in an amazing hands-on way to make sure that the materials that we were sourcing are going to best support the children in crisis that they're helping in Bangkok because it's, it's such an issue there. Um, so it was amazing to really make the most impact possible from from just you know little old Bend, Oregon, in in a global setting, and just it's it's awesome. Absolutely love these these big creative and complex, but but simple projects at the same time. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about. I think a lot of questions we get are like, where is We Hero doing these programs, right? And we we basically can do them all across the globe at this stage. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have team members in Europe. We have we can do Canada programs. We did a lot of programs in Brazil, um, mm -hmm. Thailand, obviously. Australia is another area where we've been doing a lot of work out there. And mm -hmm. I know we're starting to do more work in India and the Philippines. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think, is there areas that you, you know are challenges that you should tell clients to think, you know, more in advance? I know China is an area that's really challenging yeah. for us. So there are other areas where, like take some more time to plan these out and work with us because it, it is more challenging. We haven't done a lot of work in these areas. Yeah. And reg like, regardless, you know, each, obviously each country is different and unique in its own way. So the more, the more time we have to, to really connect with that, that country, that, that population, that, that community, the more successful we will be with this volunteer event globally across the board. And, you know, it's, I'm <laughs> the, I think China's a, a real challenge for us, but just when it came to initial, like figuring out how to, how to work, in that country, but uh, at least at this point, gosh, I wish there was some wood next to me, knock on wood, but there is, there's no country I feel like we, we couldn't support um, because if we're finding the right people in country to, to be our, our wave that we hero flag, they're amazing nonprofits globally. Like there is, there is not a country that doesn't have an amazing organization that we can find to support. So the only challenge, I think, really is just the the time that we have to help make it successful. But yeah, that's I I, I will not say no to an international event. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, another question we get is like a lot of folks that work with We Hero, they love the consistency of the experience mm -hmm. and knowing that an experience that happens in New York City can be very similar to the experience that happens in Australia. Of course, it's like adjusted to like support the local partners. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the reasons we're able to do that successfully is that we really rely on our network of team members that are mm -hmm. well-versed on WeHero. And I know you keep talking about WeHero ambassadors. Like these are people that are really well-versed on WeHero. Can you talk about those ambassadors and their role in making the events really successful as well as like how they are so well-versed on WeHero and how they can carry that experience, you know, throughout any country that we're operating. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, these we here ambassadors, you know, we are we are sourcing people in country to truly represent who we are and what we do. And uh, of course, culture is a, a huge thing at this company, and we always are making sure that that we're finding people that that we want to hang out with, have lunch with, dinner with, and get drinks with after. Like these are people that are excited about giving back and making a difference in their community and helping others know that this is possible. So first off, we're always, you know, vetting for the right people in country. And then I am working incredibly closely. Natasha, who is another amazing human on the events team, is working very closely with these folks to make sure that they feel supported and empowered to make these experiences truly what we want them to be, which is to have absolute connection and engagement for employees in their giving back. And it's just so important. So we'll work with them really from day one, you know, connect with them with meetings, uh, WhatsApp, and really just consistently be there throughout the process. So they know what's happening, who they're supporting, why they're supporting, and how they are helping make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really like just We Hero team members because oh they have like the full background and history of We Hero. They've been, yeah. <laughs> some of these folks have been actively following and supporting We Hero over the years. So it's like really cool to see that they're like, almost these people that have been fans of the business now are like working with the business, which is really cool and exciting. It, yeah. Like all these little, like we hero cheerleaders, like we can actually like bring them into the process and really help them be a part of the business, which is so exciting. Yeah. What else should we tell people about international? Like the only other thing I could think of is obviously we have a full suite of virtual experiences as well that do really mm -hmm. well internationally um, makes it really easy and turnkey for clients that 
want to have international opportunities for their employees and also make sure that the experience is really similar across all the offices. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we do some skills-based stuff as well. But anything else there you think we should know on the international piece for folks? Gosh, that's a great question. You know, a lot of these events that, you know, we have, of course, our, our, our amazing huge catalog of, of kind of standard events we offer. But it's always important, I think, to share is that if a client is wanting to do these standard events that we have internationally, we'll still cater this standard style event so it best fits the community and nonprofit we're supporting. So for example, Avantor did, you know, the amazing disaster relief projects in, in Bangkok and traditionally their, their hygiene kits, but to best support Childline, you know, they needed toilet paper and food in these kits. So we are always working so closely with these nonprofits to make sure that the company and the clients are best supporting that local community. And if there is something in that catalog that, you know, that we offer that is not necessarily what they want to do, but they still want to support where they're at, we'll find a way to help make that happen because we want to make sure that everyone feels success in, in their giving back efforts. And of course, like virtual programs, like those are such a great way to make sure that everyone feels connected and engaged, no matter where you are. So even if it's not everyone gathering in person, we are here two-dimensionally, even though three-dimensionally in person, to make sure that all of this can happen and people feel successful and connected with each other and, and are a part of the bigger picture. Yeah, to Sarah's point, so much of the experience is crafted for the local area that we're supporting. So we always tell folks, plan in advance. You know, the mm -hmm. longer we have to work with you and really create a beautiful experience, just the more successful the event will be. And so for those thinking about a global strategy and how they're going to engage their employees and their teams, definitely give yourself more than 30 days to make sure that these programs are going to be really successful. Yeah. And I know Sarah will appreciate that as well, because yes. she's working with a lot of these companies building out these global volunteer programs. And so, um, well, Sarah, awesome. If people have questions for us on a global volunteer and engagement strategy and programs that we here offers, so obviously reach out. We love helping mm -hmm. companies accomplish their goals and, and reach all their employees, no matter where they are at in the globe. And so we'd love to support and help you all. Sarah, thank you so much for the time. You do incredible work. Um, and if people <sighs> just want to hang out and talk with Sarah, reach out to us. We'll get you connected with her. Do it. Here I am. Let's <laughs> hang out. Woo. <laughs> all right. See you, Sarah. Thanks, everybody. Bye.